Hi friends, welcome to Andy Bricks. We've got seven five three two four. If I see that right, seven five three two four. Yep. Yeah. The old dyslexic gets in the way, and sometimes numbers are back to front when they come out of my mouth. I don't, you know, it's it's crazy. Anyhow, Dark Trooper attack. Hanging out for the set. Uh, as I had brought the light cruiser which came with one of these dark troopers what this set's all about really um, and the main reason I've purchased it which absolutely makes no sense at all when you hear the price we're paying for this but just had to have it, I hadn't opened the light cruiser yet and had to get my hands on some of these dark troopers and I was just looking for a, something to hold the minifigure. Oh, look at this. Got a bit of a classic old rocket here. I'll pull the bits. Sorry, old rocket. But this will work fine. Actually, I'll... Wow, that's stuck. Actually, I think this one, unlike the first one, <laughs> totally off topic, they put a rod through this one. I don't know why. Just to keep it together. Not that I remember the first edition, which was a grey set. Oh, now I can't get that out of there. Oh, I'm not having much joy there. And I think I just lost it. That'll do. That'll do. That was a bit of a disaster. As always. I found one of them. I'll get another. Black cone. Anyhow. Oh, black cylinder. Sorry. <laughs> lost the, the jets off the, off the bottom. That quick. Anyhow. Dark Trooper attack. Um, Luke looking menacing. Uh, this is from um, the season two of the Mandalorian, I believe. And we are on the light cruiser in a corridor. And Luke turns up. I must watch it again. Luke turns up and um, attacks them all. Now, I don't know why they show you that, because it just doesn't work. He cannot turn around to come out that side there while his lightsaber is lit. You would have to pull that to pieces. But um, apart from that, just fantastic. Um, great price <laughs> for 166 bricks. Yes, that's right, 166 bricks. That works out to 36, just about 37 cents a brick we're paying for this beautiful piece, which we're mainly buying for the minifigures. But it's just adorable. Let's, you know, let's be real about this. You know, Lego doesn't do something like this that often you, you know, an adult could have that on his desk you know office if, if he works in an office poor man if he does but yes so we've got um, Luke I believe for the first time in the new hood um, I really need to move my lighting a bit. Oh, this might work, this might work. Let me see. So, we've got um, Luke looking fantastic. And the lightsaber looks like it's almost got a um, a frosting to it like they didn't have before 
I'm not sure what, what it is. It just looks different. And he's sporting the new hood for the first time. Which is great. Um, you don't get a hairpiece with this because he doesn't remove his hood within this, um, you know, this scene that you're, that you're um, building here, the, the Dark Trooper attack. So um, that's the reason why you just get a hood and no, um, and no hairpiece because it, it just didn't happen. Um, back printing is pretty standard, nice cape piece, that um, cloth material that's soft and flowing and really nice. And the Dark Trooper is just um, fantastic. So, so happy to get my hands on him. Wasn't too happy with the gun selection choice, you know, I wish they'd actually make some moulds for some guns. I, I know that they don't do guns, but, you know, come on, if you're going to arm someone, and, you know, it wasn't that long ago that they said that they, you know, everything we do is to scale. Now, I'm going to, I'd have to hold the light. Not sure if this is going to pick up. It's just too dark, isn't it? What am how do we show him off? Look, you can't even see his red eyes in there very well. What if I hold it very still? It's just, it's just too black. And you're not picking it up. And what's printed on his um, chest there is pretty much printed underneath. You can see the white sides there. Now this is a robot. So um, he's quite... Um, thin through the middle, you know, like, he's, oh, let's have a look at his head, that's fantastic. So, we've got the, come on, Andrew, where's your light? So, nice silver breather there, big bit of red for the eyes little bit of stuff around the back I'll just pull that head off and show you what's under that piece which I believe was um, first in first in the uh, Bad Batch um, you know the Wrecker Wrecker had it but um, here we go so the white bit is supposed to be missing so if you get that um, except for on the knees there I guess that's supposed to be there but everything else is white and except for the you know where his head goes um, that's supposed to be hollow empty through there so that's how white he is at the waist is just as wide as that little control panel there and um, they look fantastic and menacing and um, Lego done a really good job I I don't don't know how to what if we put the I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show you the helmet it's just black it just doesn't stand out that well for me I'm not sure why but yeah anyhow and um, these shut down and are all dark so you could actually spin the head around you know backwards so when you put his helmet on they can look shut down but um, I, I really having trouble seeing through the eyes. Now I'll spin the head around. Put the shoulder pad piece on. It's supposed to make them look a bit bulkier than a human. Because they're a robot. 
it reminds me of Spongebob, sorry, when Spongebob thinks um, Mr. Krabs has turned into a robot. I love it. Anyhow, on topic, Andy. But yeah, yeah, look, I just, oh, there it is. The, the eyes. There's not much to it, you know, for all that print that they've got under there. It's just a couple of little triangles. Anyhow. I think I've wasted enough time on the minifigures. Well and truly. So we've got this little build which was quite fun to put together. Not too um, crazy with the, you know, tricky sticker problem. So we've got three of these guys coming at Lucas. I mean Luke. Not Lucas. And, um, so the stickers there, stickers there, and there down behind there. Um, that one there is the same as what's just in there. That's the only different one from that one there. And it really, it, look, it looks like you've put them in wrong, but it's just the how the shadow falls like it looks like that one's far too much across but it actually isn't and uh, it's just weird how they come out I thought I'd made a, a botchery of it nothing to see on the back just um, you know build stuff you can spin if I got Luke in the way you can spin the um so we've got the the turbo lift with its um reading uh, you know what level it's on there and um, this is how it appears in the show um there you go have this as it have a break in it um see it there there's a split between the two but it's actually one one piece of um, paneling so um, I just got those as close as I possibly could they're right right up to the right up to the edge of the brick both of them and I did that by um, just just putting a, a something bigger there and and pushing the sticker is you know up to the edge so it's right to the edge of of sorry that's out of shot um so the sticker would i had it something bigger here and just put the sticker on all the way up to the as uh, flat to the next brick and um yeah that's how i managed to get those to um look like one piece and yeah and the turbo laser um you can spin it around to look like it's um closed off but it's nice to see all that sticker work and um, I used my fantastic you know um, took the sticker off and put it on another bit of sticky tape um, you know what sticky stuff you know that the stickers come stuck to I don't even know that's shiny stuff and um, and I just um, stuck it up on the top and um, then unfolded it how I just like I did with the um, space shuttle. But um, there we go. You can um, put Luke there. But like I say, it doesn't. You can't spin him around and back. Oh, there is this piece here. Where you can um, put him on there and have him. Whoosh, 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 take that, dark trooper. And um, it's quite cool, you know. Doesn't seem. I thought it went all the way around. Oh, there it goes. So yeah. Wah ha ha yeah. And um, he can use his force, force power, to blow this one back by um, this little control thing here. There's not much underneath it. I'll show you that now. Um, but yeah, just you know, whoosh. Uh, take that with the force. Wah. 
he really wants to turn him into a bull, you know, crush him up. I don't know if he, I'm pretty sure they got the power to do that with the force, but yeah, fantastic little set, 75324. Um, thoroughly recommend it if you can afford it. I still see it about today, which is strange for New Zealand. Normally things like this sell out within a flash. But i um, seen a few of them at the warehouse, so that's cool. Good to see them about. But yeah, it's, it's you know, 30, 36.7, I think. 36.7 cents per brick. It's very expensive. You know, we really want to be paying at the most 20 cents a brick. Very expensive. Probably one of the dearest sets. And they always do it with the little one. Um, I remember um, Ray's Speeder being phenomenal price for that little set back, you know, um, when that happened. But yeah, I've gone on too long already. And thanks for hanging around if you did. Fantastic Lego, well done, Dark Troopers rock, Andy Brooks out.